This was designed as my bailout bag. Imagine one of your family members gets hurt and you have to spend the next 24 hours at the hospital. It is just to get you out of your present shitty situation. This is an interactive video. Click on the item to get the lowdown or just sit tight and enjoy the ride. All the items are linked in the description. My man purse of choice is the LA Police Gear Tactical Bailout Bag. I've replaced all the tabs with Cobra braided paracord. This bag has enough pockets for the perfect first order of retrieval setup. The most important part of the bag is the first aid kit. The base is built off of a simple one person kit. Then I added latex gloves, extra band-aids, and a tube of triple antibiotic ointment, a four inch Israeli battle dressing bandage, a combat tourniquet. If someone has arterial bleeding, you need a tourniquet. And with speedy access to a hospital, a tourniquet does not mean a loss of limb. A pair of medical scissors. Trauma shears are a must, and these can cut through the toughest of fabrics, from web gear, denim, leather boots, but most importantly, the soft stuff like gauze. A small thing of hand sanitizer some allergy medication, Advil, anti-diarrhea medication, some kind of food. Don't be a bitch because your blood sugar is low. Man up, eat something, and rise to the occasion. Some kind of pick-me-upper. The situation you are in might require less sleep than you want. Stay on your game and stay focused. Money can't buy happiness, but it sure can buy food, water, and any number of things in a bad situation. I carry $100 with me just in case I need to grease someone's palms my high power handheld ham radio. If you don't have your ham radio license yet, stop watching gear videos and get over to hamtestonline.com. A big boy's knife. A nice fixed blade outdoor knife, large handle is a versatile tool. If you don't know that, do yourself a favor, YouTube bushcraft knife and get educated. Containers are important. And the reason you will see two in my bag, one is metal. So if I need to boil water to sanitize it, I can and a plastic one to store clean water. This will allow me to use the metal container to cook food or store dirty water that I cannot boil this second. A medium sized flashlight. This is a function stacking item. I carry a small flashlight in my pocket, a medium in my EDC bag, and a large one in my car emergency bag. A good pair of gloves. Multi-tip screwdriver. That Leatherman you carry in your pocket is nice and all, but when something breaks on your car, you need a real tool to get you out of that predicament. 50 feet of power cord. I prefer the quick rope method to store mine. Zip ties. Gorilla tape to go. This is the compact version of the tape. Chapstick. Nail clippers. For just cleaning underneath your nails before that important date to trimming up a nail that has broken. Dental floss. From getting that piece of junk out between your teeth to some simple cordage. Hearing protection. From just needing to get a good night's sleep in that noisy hospital room or protecting your hearing in a loud environment. Everything needs power, and in an emergency, you might not be able to plug in that cell phone. I carry a one to four charge cable that can damn near work for anything, and a USB brick to charge that battery pack or device that I need. Headphones, something to take notes with, and pens and markers. A lighter with duct tape. This is a duplicate of what is in my pocket, sunglasses to protect those deadly baby blues. I wear contacts, so in my bailout bag, I need to be able to take care of my eyes. I carry a backup pair of prescription glasses and contacts, as well as something to lubricate and clean my eyes. A bandana, a shopping bag, extra set of keys, business cards, and when the shit really hits the fan, toilet paper. Thanks for watching my February 2016 Everyday Carry Man Purse.